Free online hearing test that lasts all of two minutes is going viral on YouTube. Yeah, this video claims to be able to tell you how old your ears are by playing sounds at different frequencies. But just how accurate is this video? East Texas News' Shaley Sanders sat down with an audiologist to find out. This video has more than 3 million views. People curious if this two-minute hearing test could save them from a trip to the ear doctor or send them so there. So, how many of the following sounds can you hear? The creators of this video, ASAP Science, say to get the most accurate results, you really need to watch and listen using 1080p headsets. Okay, if you can hear 8,000 hertz, you're both alive and not hearing impaired. But let's keep raising the frequency. If you are having trouble hearing sounds above 8,000 hertz and you're younger than the average age ASAP Science has listed, should you be worried? We played this video for audiologist Phyllis Trotter to find out, and by the look on her face, we could tell there might be some doubt. The normal audiogram, we test from 250 hertz, and the maximum we go is 8,000. This test starts at 8,000 hertz. So we don't even test in a soundproof room, in a sound booth with headphones, anything above 8,000 hertz, which is not the typical, normal, everyday sounds that anyone would hear. So is there any truth to this video? Dr. Trotter says if you hang on until the end, the information is factual. In your ear, there are thousands of tiny nerve cells called hair cells. These are responsible for picking up different frequencies and sending the signal to the brain where it's processed. But as you age, the continual exposure to noise and loud sounds can break, bend, and destroy these cells. The damage to the hair cell, once it's damaged, it's irreversible. So Dr. Trotter says if you want to take the test for fun, go for it. But if you really are concerned by your hearing, visiting your audiologist is the best way to go. Shaley Sanders, East Texas News. Dr. Trotter says she is seeing a growing problem with noise-induced hearing loss in younger patients who spend a lengthy amount of time listening to loud music with their earbuds. She warns parents to make sure their children don't have earbuds that reach too deep into the ear and, of course, make sure that volume is never too loud.